Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome or welcome. Where have you been? Just kidding. I'm glad that you clicked on this video if you are looking for some new fresh faces to watch. Fresh faces. If you are looking for a new and fresh face to watch, please click that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're uh, notified each time I upload a video, which is three times a week. Three times a week. Three times a week. We're a little goofy over here and we enjoy having a good time and discussing beauty products, skincare products, and of course, all things makeup. So, today's video is gonna be on a few products that I have been testing and teasing you with if you follow me on Instagram. If you do not, lame. Just kidding. If you do not, please uh, follow me on Instagram at Budget Divas Closet. I post a lot on Instagram. Um, and yeah, some exciting news for me. I just recently got an editor. So these videos are about to be popping. Thank you, baby, for taking the time out of your busy day to edit my videos. Let's get into it. So the first thing is not new, and it is not a new item for me, but it is something that I really wanted to share. Um, I recently got a few DMs in my box on IG. Thank you, ladies. Um, and they were asking me, what are some affordable makeup brushes? So in my opinion, some affordable makeup brushes are, honestly, you guys are going to flip. But they are the Equate brand from Walmart, yeah, from Walmart. They are the Equate brand brushes. And I've been using these literally, at, like no joke, ever since they launched um, at Walmart. And these are absolutely amazing. They are super duper soft. They're not gonna scratch your skin. They don't shed. I have had these, again, ever since they launched, which I think was about a year ago. Um, to me, they look super like Okay, close to luxurious. They have a white handle with a rose gold. They don't have a lot of brushes in their line yet, but I am really hoping that people are buying and using these so that they do expand this line in particular. I do know that they have some other brushes, but I mean these brushes. Like these are, oh my god. If you, again, follow me on Instagram, I posted about these a while ago when I bought some backups I guess because I have to have double of everything especially when it comes to brushes because I'm afraid they're gonna break okay I just went off on a tangent <laughs> okay but seriously if you do not have these you have to get these they make a powder brush and I'm gonna show you my dirty one just because my dirty one looks bigger and fluffier and just so pretty even though she dirty as you can see it is gonna set your face rather quickly even if you have a larger face like mine because she big she nice and big fluffy and just she holds some powder so she's really really nice again the white handle with the rose gold I believe this brush is about four dollars maybe five don't quote me but super affordable I have two of those and I'm actually contemplating getting a third one just because I love it so much. And ladies, let's keep it real. Brush washing day is a job. It usually takes me around two and a half hours or so to wash all of my makeup brushes. I know that's excessive. That's crazy. So anyways, going up with the next one is their fan highlighting brush. She's super soft too. Very beautiful. The same sleek white handle with the rose gold metal she gets all up in there and gets the highlighting done and she doesn't shed either i think this one's the same three or four dollars and then they also have their multitasking brush i love this brush you can use this to set the under eye you can use it to set whatever i like to use mine for blush bronzer you could go up here and use it for highlight i mean it's a multitasking brush and as you can see she's pretty big too same sleek design again with the white handle and the rose gold. Ah, I love this brush. That's my favorite brush out of the entire line besides the powder brush, but I have a lot of powder brushes, so it's hard to choose. Okay, so the next one is their flat top kabuki, and she looks like so. This poor baby, don't judge her. She has been beat up. I usually carry her in either my purse, 
you know, just for touch-ups throughout the day or like a travel makeup bag. So she has really been through it, like for real been through it. But again, you guys, I love these brushes through and through. If I could only own these brushes, like in these styles for the rest of my days, I would like own these brushes. And again, super affordable. I want to say all of these together were under $30. So if you're looking for some affordable brushes, I got you. So the next thing that we are going to discuss is by City Color. And this is another one of their B Matte Blushes. I am absolutely obsessed with City Color B Matte Blushes. They are very pigmented. They last all day long. Where did that come from? <laughs> okay, if you know me personally, I'm like always doing um, accents and stuff. So if I offend anybody, I'm sorry. It's just something that I've always done since I was little. Anyway, so this is their B Matte Blush in the shade Fresh Melon. I'm wearing it today. I just lost my earring. Y'all know, it's, it's Monday. It is one of those days. So anyway, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can see that. But she's just very beautiful she's like this pinky kind of peachy flamingo color like that's what it reminds me of and i just feel like this goes with everything it gives me that perfect flush so other than my other one that i use which i think is in the shade natural this has become a favorite not to mention they are super huge and you get a ton of product in here for around five dollars <laughs> The next item I'm going to talk about is actually by a brand that I have known for quite some time. And I don't know if like the younger crowd knows about this brand and that how this brand used to be super high end and it was sold in Sephora. And then, I don't know, maybe about five or six years ago, I need to do my research and read up on it. But maybe like five or six years ago, they became exclusive to Walmart. And the brand that I am talking about had those itty bitty cute little nail polishes. And then they had like these really cute rings that went on every one. And like you were not cool unless you had one of those. And the brand that I am talking about is Hard Candy. Hard Candy has recently, excuse me. Recently, I want to say within the last six to eight months, launched face serums. And this one is the Sheer Envy Fix It Serum and Hydrate Skin. This has coconut oil and hyaluronic acid. And again, I have dry skin, so I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite, favorite serums from the drugstore, believe it or not. She's only $8 and super moisturizing. Like if I didn't want to add a moisturizer to my skin after I put this on, I don't need to and I got some super dry skin. So that tells you how good it is. They also have one for anti-aging skin, um, dry, or not dry skin, guys, sorry, oily skin, and there's another one, but I can't remember what it is. So head on over to your Walmart, check it out. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. The next thing that I have been trying and testing out actually came in a set, and this is by Pearl Essence. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know this is one of my absolute favorite brands. Um, this is the Rose and Apricot Makeup Priming Oil. This makes your skin so dewy. I love it. You put this on before your makeup and your face kind of gets super radiant. Not oily, but super radiant. And it actually kind of shines through your makeup. I do not have this on today, only because I am testing out some new products. But this came in a set with a makeup setting mist. And I'm so bummed because the makeup setting mist is not... It's not a dewy setting mist like I thought it was, but... I bought it online. I couldn't see the box. It works good. It still works good. So I love this and I'm getting to know and love the setting mist. So if you can find this at your local TJ Maxx, I'd say grab it. She's a winner. If not, you can buy their products on jscottbrands.com. You're going to pay a little bit more than you do at TJ Maxx, but it's still more affordable than like luxury skincare or going to Sephora. The next item that I'm going to talk about is by Wet n Wild. Um, I did kind of tell you guys that I was reviewing some Wet n Wild stuff. I recently got a hold of their new 3-in-1 priming, or water, what are they called? 3-in-1 priming waters, and I picked up Rose and Coconut. So far, my favorite is the coconut one. I don't know why for winter, especially this year. I am so obsessed with coconut. Of course, I still love rose. Like, rose is one of my favorite scents, which is why I also picked up their water drop primer in rose. 
I don't know if you guys can see that. I sure hope so. Um, yeah, so apparently these come in coconut, rose, and cucumber. I'm kind of over the cucumber thing right now. If it would have came in green tea, I would have grabbed it. But so these three-in-one primers come in, again, coconut, rose, and cucumber. And then the water drop primer also comes in rose, coconut, and cucumber. However, when I picked this up on Wet n Wild, I was not paying attention, I guess, because I didn't notice the drop-down bar, so that I thought they only had this one. So I only got rose for now. But I am going to go back and pick up the coconut because this is really, really good, you guys. It is like a cream to water gel formula, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's super, super hydrating. It just looks so good on the skin, and your makeup goes on really, really nice. This. I think it lasts a fair amount of time. Um, I haven't tested it out to see if it lasts all day long but um yeah i really really like it and then you know paired with these i think it does an amazing job of priming your skin refreshing your skin taking on that powdery look that nobody likes um these have a very fine mist on them the only thing that i don't like about these is the bottle and the amount that you get of course for the price they're five bucks you can't really complain but i just wish that they sold the larger bottles of course, I would pay a little bit more, but I do. I wish they sold larger bottles. Oh, by the way, these are very highly fragranced, so if you are sensitive to smells, I would steer clear of these because you're not going to like them. The next item is the Wet n Wild Stop Playing It Safe palette that I was waiting on that didn't come in my order. I did try this out today. I'm going to test this a little bit longer only because... Um, I don't want to give it a negative review just yet. I don't think that's fair to give it a review based off of a first impression. Um, I tried this green out today. I have this all over my lid. I did the two transition shades and the two peach shades. And then I had this a really pretty gold glittery yellow in my inner corner. And it was just honestly a shit show. For some reason, this green, I didn't even go all the way up to my crease. Like, I went a fair amount under my crease because I didn't want it to wind up right here well it did by the time I got back from running my errands and I was getting ready to sit down and film I'm like mm -mm. so I had to go change my eyeshadow which is probably not looking the greatest right now either because my eyes are watering horribly but anyway so we're gonna try this out for another week with another product that I was supposed to review today and I will let you guys know how I feel about this I'll actually do another video and then maybe even like show me using it. The next product that I want to discuss. Hold up. Okay, never mind. I thought I was missing one. Okay. So I love the Wet n Wild catsuit line. I think the lippies are absolutely amazing. I love their matte lippies, the metallic lippies. I love their lippies. So it was no surprise when these high shine glosses came out and I'm missing one because I just had it putting it on my lips. I'm wearing it. It is called Cedar Later. It's so pretty. But when I put these on, the formula reminded me of something as time went on and how it wears. And when I show you guys what it reminds me of, you're going to be like, I got to go get those. I got to go have them all. So this formula, the way that it wears, reminds me so much of these Lancome lippies and these I will put the name of this down below because I'm not even gonna lie like I can hardly pronounce it Lancome is so bougie I feel so bougie when I wear this I love it but anyway this is a very highly pigmented like lip stain okay but when it goes on it goes on like a gloss and as it wears on the gloss will start to wear away whether you're eating drinking kissing your significant other whatever um but the color is still there like it is still very vibrant very pigmented and very opaque so it doesn't really look like you have been eating or drinking okay these are 26 dollars i believe yeah i think they're 26 dollars okay this wears the exact same way. Now the consistency is a little bit different. The Lancome is very thin when you put it on um, and it takes just a few minutes to dry down. This one does not dry down and is a little bit thicker but the way that it wears is the exact same thing. Like your shininess will wear off just a little bit after a while and then the color will still be there. So 
for five bucks or six dollars, whichever. I mean, they're still super affordable. Excuse me, guys. To twenty six. I would love to own all of these. I think they are absolutely stunning. And I love the formula of these, the wear. But let's be real. This is more affordable. So, yeah. I actually bought a few more of these today to test out, which will be in my next video. So, super quick. I don't know why I have so many lip products this time. Like, I just went kind of lip product crazy. So, okay. The next item, again, is from Hard Candy, which I just talked about that brand. Um, these are their lip ser or plumping serums, and I have three shades. I have Baby Doll, Pink Teddy, and where you at? First Kiss. Okay, so these are pretty nude. Um, when I first apply these, I don't feel anything. Like, you don't feel like they're plumping your lips. But they're very opaque and very pretty. They're very shiny. And as a few minutes passes, you start to feel this menthol feeling. And it's sort of starting to do its thing. These remind me of the Buxom lip glosses. The Buxom lip plumping glosses. Now, Buxom, you can feel the menthol sensation, the tingly sensation right away. These take a few minutes, and I actually tried these out about a year ago, and I didn't feel it doing anything right away, so I just took it off. And I heard, um, or I saw one of Tati's videos, and she was raving about these, so I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. I'm going to try them out again. So I went to the store to grab them. Of course, my store, they're clearanced, because I think that they are getting rid of a lot of the um, hard candy stuff at that Walmart, which whatever. Doesn't mean they're being discontinued because they're not. Um, but these are amazing. If you guys have not tried these, you have to get your hands on these. It's not painful. It's very comfortable, like the Buxom glosses. These are nothing like the Too Faced lip injections, which can be very painful to wear. These do not plump your lips like that either but it does have like a nice little plumping effect and they're just very beautiful and comfortable on the lips. And I also feel like these are super long wearing and they're very affordable. I think the retail price is like six bucks. So I mean, come on. The last product that I'm gonna go over is actually by Pacifica. Pacifica and it's Lips Like Sugar. This is their lip scrub. Um, I am really, really, really picky when it comes to lip scrubs, and this one, I don't know, it just caught my eye on the Hush app one day, and I was like, ooh, candied lemon, or yeah, candied lemon sugar, and I was like, hmm, that sounds really good, so I was like, okay, I love Pacifica brand, so I was like, let me try it out, so I got it, and I'm like, going about it, about my day, doing my lips or whatever, and all of a sudden, it's like, I start feeling this really nice grit. It's not painful, but it's just like a really nice grit. I don't know if you guys can see this, but she got some grit on her. So again, it's not painful, but it is just the right amount of grit to like get that dead skin off. It's like, um, kind of like the e.l.f. lip ex exfoliators, only this one's a little more grittier, so she gonna get your lips baby butt soft. So if you are looking for an amazing lip exfoliator, look no further. They are still selling this on the Hush app, and if you can't find it on the Hush app, Ulta is always having a sale on Pacifica, so they're usually having like a buy one, get one 50% off, buy two, get one free. Girl, 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 you need this in your life. You need this, especially in these winter months. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And not that I like to eat my lip scrub, but this actually tastes pretty delicious. Like, you know how you'll have a little bit left on when you're trying to wipe it off or whatever? Because lip scrubs aren't so hard to get off. Well, you get a little treat too. So you guys, that is all for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you will hit that bell notification, you will be notified every time I upload a video, which is gonna start being three times a week consistently now that I have a video editor. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and watching. And I hope wherever you are, you are having a safe and happy day. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.